Hey, it's Vass here from Aussie RC Playground and welcome to another episode of RC Hot Tip. Today we're going to be talking about running your batteries in series or running them in parallel. I am going to be showing you the differences between the two methods and we're going to be establishing some ground rules so that we know exactly what we're doing when pairing up our batteries. So what's the difference between running your batteries in series and running them in parallel? Well, when you run your batteries in series, you actually double your voltage but you keep the same milliamp per hour when you run your batteries in parallel, you keep the same voltage, but you double your milliamp per hour. Now, in order to uh, show you this, I've got here my MaxAmps 6000 milliamp 3S packs. I recently picked these up from MaxAmps, and uh, the way I've got them connected up with my XT150s, I can plug in my red wire into my black wire like so, and then the remaining two will go straight into my ESC, and this means that I've now doubled on voltage, and I'm now running a 6000 milliamp 6S battery. Now, when I'm running my batteries in parallel, uh, such as these ones here, these are Eternity 2S 5000 milliamp uh, batteries. These are connected up a little bit differently. So as you can see, instead of running a red wire into a black wire, and then the remaining two into my ESC, I actually match them up like so. And then via an adapter uh, that obviously turns these into just one plug, I can plug them into my ESC, and I have now uh, doubled my milliamp per hour, but I'm still only running 2S. So that's the difference between the two methods. Now, in order to do this safely, we need to establish some ground rules. Now, when we're running our batteries in series, there are four rules that we need to follow. Rule number one is that they both need to be the same milliamp per hour. Uh, rule number two is that they both need to be the same C rating. Uh, number three is that they both need to be from the same brand. And last but not least, they both need to be about the same A. Now I say about because you can bend that rule a little bit and sort of have one that has maybe half a dozen cycles more than the other. Uh, you can probably push that out to maybe a dozen cycles, but I wouldn't risk too much beyond that because uh, you want them to keep the uh, you want to keep the batteries about the same age. And the reason for that is because you know uh, one battery may hold charge better than the other, or one may discharge a little bit better than the other as the batteries begin to age. But if you've got the same cycles going through them, well, there's this chance of that happening. Now, when running our batteries in parallel, there is one additional rule that we need to follow, and that is quite simply that both batteries need to be the same voltage. So that's rule number five for running our, our batteries in parallel. Now, we don't have that rule in uh, when running our batteries in series because, well, quite simply, you don't have to have the same voltage. So what this means is that you can actually run a 2S and a 3S together to create 5S. So as you can see with my uh, Turnigy Heavy Duty packs here, I've got the same uh, milliamp per hour. I'm running the same C rating, so 60 to 120. They're both the same brand and they're both the same age because I bought them at the same time. And I can pair them up and run them in series quite comfortably um, and create a 5S battery. However, you cannot do that when uh, you're running them in parallel because remember, we're trying to keep the same voltage. So both batteries need to be the same voltage in order for this to work. If you try to run a 3S and a 2S together in parallel, I'm pretty sure a lot of bad things will happen, whether that'll be to your batteries or your ESC. Okay, so now in order to understand why we need to follow these rules, we have to have a look at the brains of your RC, which is uh, your ESC. Now, it's very important that we understand what this thing can do and what it can't do, so that we know exactly why these rules apply. So the ESC, and it doesn't really matter what brand you have, whether it's a Castle, a Tekken, a Hobbywing, or in this case, a uh, Turnigy Trackstar 120 amp. Um, this one is, of course, brand new. I haven't used it yet. Now, uh, it doesn't matter what ESC you have. One thing that they all have in common is when you plug your batteries in, and I say batteries, is that the ESC will only read both batteries as one battery. So it really only reads the voltage of what you're plugging into it. So this is one of the reasons why uh, it's very important that we keep your milliamp per hour the same and your C rating the same because the battery, or rather the ESC, uh, doesn't know that these are Turnigy packs. It doesn't know that these are MaxAmps packs. And if I'm going to be mixing things up, say for example, I'm going to be running 
these two batteries together, uh, as you can see here, they're both the same milliamp per hour. And you might think, okay, well, these seem to be okay to run together. They're both the same capacity, but we're breaking a few rules here. Uh, I know for a fact that this one is much older than this one, so that's problem number one. Number two is that they are both different brands. Uh, I know they're both Turnigy, but this is a Nanotech, uh, and this is a Turnigy Heavy Duty, so different. And uh, this one is a 60 to 120 C, while this one is only 40 to 80 C. So uh, looking at the C rating difference, for example, my Turnigy Heavy Duty could actually be in a little bit of trouble because it has a higher discharge rate. It may in fact go, uh, it may deplete or may go flat uh, before the Nanotech does. Um, so this one here could actually be in trouble in this case. Now the reason for that is because the ESC, as I said, will only read voltage, and that's how it calculates its low voltage cutoff. That's how, uh, you know, when you're running your RC and you have a battery plugged into it, uh, when it shuts down, uh, th that's the L LVC kicking in, that's your low voltage cutoff. So the ESC will read the, volt the volts on both batteries and will average out the voltage that they have in order to calculate LVC. So. In, if you have one battery that's uh, going flat faster than the other, or if you have one that's a higher capacity than the other, then obviously this one here is gonna go flat below its LVC point before the ESC recognizes that there's uh, you know, an average that's uh, low enough to shut everything off. By that time, you may have already damaged your battery. So C rating, milliamp per hour, um, you know, an age of battery and brand of battery is important. Now, brand is, a, is another issue that we need to talk about because, um, you know, different brands, even if these were the same milliamp per hour, which they are, but let's say if they were the same C rating and the same age, there are different brands. Now, the reason, the problem with the different brands is that um, some brands will claim higher numbers than the battery actually is capable of doing, whilst some brands will claim conservative numbers. So it may say 60 to 120 C, but it probably can be 65 to 140 C or something like that. Um, so you really need to be careful when mixing up different brands because uh, you know a number on a label is just a number on a label and uh, it's ideal that you keep them the same brand to avoid any problems like this. So hopefully this has given you some inside information and uh, that way you understand a little bit more about running your batteries, uh, you know, whether it be in series or in parallel. But when you're pairing up different batteries, uh, at least now you have the knowledge to be able to uh, make a judgment call whether what you're about to do is actually safe or not safe to do. Uh, so that is it for this episode of RC Hot Tip. Uh, please be sure to give the video a like if you uh, got some information that you found useful here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and as always check out the video description for more information on the batteries that I've shown here today as well as a link to my Facebook page. I thank you all very much for watching and I will speak to you next time.